Hello, welcome to Super High Graphics. First, let's take a look at the intro. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because our videos will help improve your growth and creativity. Delete what you have on your screen. Let's set the background. Set the background to be white color. Okay, then come back. I'll be making use of an item to design the background. So I have it somewhere here. Okay. The reason why I'm using this The reason why I'm using this as you can see it's more like a food design So I'll just increase the size to cover the page Something like this Okay good now just duplicate that place it somewhere here also you can see that okay just position it strategically just like that okay now all you just have to do is come to layer select the two of them did you get what I just did come here click on this side mark the two items on the page then you click on this match them together okay you can see it has become a single item all you just have to do now while it is still selected you come to opacity and reduce the opacity as much as let's say you can make it six percent six percent or even five percent okay good you can see this okay nice now with this being set all you just have to do is come to layer and lock it just like that now the next thing is let's create the shape here is the shape you have to to see it properly let me change the color let's make it this color okay now come back and reduce the radius to let's say 20 percent okay great now you have it the next thing is to increase the size like this you can see the way i'm doing it just increase the size like this and increase the length okay good now the next thing you are going to do is just to rotate it like this let me check the rotation so as we can have a perfect rotation size okay you can rotate it by 30 and just bring it up here something like this you can see this okay good now you've done this the next thing is just duplicate that again when you duplicate that now you have to reduce it to make a perfect score let's check the size of this okay 28 to 31 let's make it 31 to 31 okay you can see 28 to 28 you can just set it like this now with this just bring this one here something like this can see that okay duplicate that and bring this one right here in front of it now with that being said with that done all you just have to do is duplicate it again and bring it down here just bring it down just like this you can see this okay good with all this being said now the next thing is to start imputing items into them all right click on the first one then you come to texture click on this then I have I have these food items that I've downloaded all you just have to do is to insert them now I want to crop this out a little something like this you can see this okay this is tree platter okay now you can see how it is inside this inside inside of it it is positioned inside it now the same thing for this just do the same thing using texture I'm 
for here you have to make this one to one you can see this you can see this you can pick this one to one and just or well, let's even leave it the way it is like 100 percent okay that and just position it inside you can see how it is inside the same thing for this texture see okay good let me reselect this okay for this you can just enable this you can see it just enable it like that and it will be full okay then this one you do the same thing So I have all the food items set. I've positioned them, but let's add some kind of um, let's add some shadow to it so as it can. There will be a little difference between the background and the so the same thing for this shadow. Enable, give it a lighter shadow. shadow and all of that the next thing is to start adding the information that we have so let's say the name of the the name of the restaurant or whatever is yummy kitchen okay let's make the initial capital letter okay let's position this here then you get a font for it under font you can just come and select something nice Let's make use of this. You can see this. You can reduce the size for that. Position it properly. Let's position it properly. Then you give it a color. Let's make use of green color. Okay, deep green on your color palette. Okay, just like that. Now, type in another text. Let's say we are having something like the home of good food. Just like that reduce the size of this now let's say we want to give this a font also let's add some font to it so in this case the best font to make is of a signature font so let's use something like this okay and increase the size for that position it right underneath this then give it the same color okay now with that the next thing we are going to do now let's add something let's say add another text let's say this D fast food okay just bring this here come to font and select a font for it also Okay, 
let's make use of this okay there you have it you can increase the size you can increase the size and just position it be careful make sure your alignment is properly you align it properly just like this okay now let's give this a color you can just give it let's say any color from the page from what i have on this page i think orange color will be best just like this okay now add something else again another text let's say delicious and delicious and healthy down reduce the size let's get the font for it also okay let's use the past no okay there you have it you can increase the size of this a little position it right underneath this then give it and give it a color also so let's give it the same green color nice okay green color okay that and just position it strategically now let's create the shape let's say we are adding something like okay, let's add this now this one i have to shape it the way i want you can do the same so just okay that now just rotate it 360 just like that come on drag it further just position it strategically under this delicious you can see that okay good the next thing is to give it a color also i'll just give it a green color the same green color that we have okay just position it like that now i feel like it is still big let me reduce it okay I'll just position it like this now duplicate any of this text let's just duplicate this edit it and wipe it down let's let's say i want to add our service our services okay make it a capital letter just like that now reduce the size of this come and position it inside here reduce the size further now check the alignment you can see the alignment from up to this level they are all on the same line so let's change the color of this let's just change the color to let's say color white okay you can see that now the next thing that i'll just do here is to let's say itemize whatever it is that we are offering that whatever this company or they are offering is just itemize it now let me put the powerpoint like a bullet point sorry so let's say i'm itemizing four or five stores okay these are the bullet points let's say the first one should be key Second one, let's say we have small jobs. Like that. Okay, let's say the third one we see breakfast platter. Okay, let's say the last one will be Food, trees, trees, and platter. Okay, just like that, you can just make. Just make the initials capital letter
just like that okay so there you have it the next thing is just to bring it in reduce the size and position it strategically check your alignment as well now let's give it the same color that we are making use of you can see that now the next thing is let's say um, let's just give it a call to order like okay order now so you can just create the shape of something like this reduce this make the radius let's say 50 so as it can be perfect the radius of 50 close it up reduce it okay and reduce it for that just okay that then you bring it down here let's give it a color for you to see it properly let's give it an orange color which is the same color that we're the two major colors that we're making use of you can see it's still a little big you can reduce it further and then position it just like that that's how we serve as the to increase the size the length okay close it up and reduce the size now you can see position it properly also now just you can duplicate any of these text duplicate this edit it and just type in let's say order now okay make it a capital letter okay and just bring it down reduce the size to fit into this reduce the size for it to fit into the box so you can use your positioning to do that okay just position it inside like this the next thing is let's say we want to add something else uh, let's say the phone number where they get to place the order so you can just call me and type in the phone number as like plus two three four zero eight one just okay okay so let's say this is the f this is the phone number you can reduce the size then you make sure your alignment is properly aligned also so you can just make it green color that we're making use of okay now for you to get more attention you can just come to style and make it bold just like that great you can see how everything has come together now made a very beautiful design all you just have to do is follow this step by step and you will get it thank you for watching god bless you if this was really helpful kindly like and subscribe to get notified whenever i'm posting new videos like this god bless you